So I wait 30 seconds and then I remove it. Actually we're taking a video. Sample. Oh yeah, we're taking a video. Okay. Alright, it's been 30 seconds, so we're going to take it out. Let's see. So the grid always falls, so it's good to put a little piece of parafilm on the bottom. Where's the turn? Okay. Alright, so there's a tiny little screw, so I have a tiny little screwdriver. One of those things you want to make sure you don't turn it too far because then the screw will pop out and make some really little, which is difficult to put back on. So a little clip there. All right. Where's your grid in the first slot here? Five. Five. Oops. Well, that's fine. Again, we don't want to over tighten the screw because we will break it. Okay. Alright, so now I am ready to insert. So I'd like to double check. So I'm going to uh, insert it to this point here and then turn, and then set the switch to pump. And then I wait for the light to change and then I can turn it in and go in all the way. There's a little notch here. You be careful, don't touch any part of the rod, but I want to line that notch up with the notch on the end of the goniometer here. So. And you can see it's in all the way now. So I'm going to switch it to pump. Ask me what the specimen holder is. Technically, I don't have to hold it, but on the Tech 9 microscopes that we had, it always gave a little puff of air that shot my sample in, so I'm just kind of programmed now to not let go. <laughs> but I'm waiting for the light here to go from yellow to green, and then I can insert it all the way. And here, you can hear opening valves. And Specimen chamber is not ready, so, whereas all the other ones are. 